Hey everybody, welcome back. Buckle up. Today we're talking about chlorine and there's a lot to talk about, but don't be confused. We're going to kind of break it down, make it easy for you. Okay. So follow me back here. Let's get started. Last time we met, we were talking about balancers and how important it is for balancers for your chlorine to work properly, right? Or for your sanitizer to work properly. So water's in balance. Now we got to use sanitizer to kill germs and bacteria. Something I want to read you really quick because it's important in the news these days. This is from the Northeast Pool and Spa Association and it says, according to the CDC, there is no evidence that COVID-19 can be spread to humans through the use of pools or hot tubs. So that's certainly good news for us, right? There are certainly other waterborne illnesses that we always want to keep everything in check. So let's keep our sanitizer levels up. Chlorine, probably the most popular or the most talked about sanitizer with swimming pools. There are so many different forms, right? There's liquid, there's tablets, there's powders. Which one do I choose? So let's break them down. We'll start with the old fashioned liquid chlorine. Still popular, still in use out there. Um, liquid chlorine, my best friend growing up had a pool. So every night her dad was out there pouring liquid chlorine into the pool. Sun burns off chlorine very quickly. So with just liquid chlorine, which is an unstabilized product, it is a nightly addition. We do want you to add chlorine products when the sun is off the pool and they'll be more effective for you. So shocking the pool, adding your tablets, do them later in the day. Short, uh, next to liquid chlorine, a three inch tablet is probably the most popular. We have a bunch of different uh, choices when it comes to three inch tablets. There is a three inch tablet that just has a stabilizing product built into it. Stabilizer is a cyanuric acid and it's sunscreened for your chlorine. In moderation, it's great, great stuff. It makes your chlorine hold on a little bit longer. It doesn't burn off as quickly as just liquid chlorine does. I also have what we sell at Pettis Pool called an MPT tablet. An MPT means multi-purpose tablet. So this is a chlorine tablet with a built-in stabilizer and a built-in algicide, a killing component, right? Think homicide, suicide, algicide is the killing component of the algae. And a clarifier built into it as well. A clarifier is something that kind of coagulates all those little particles that make your water look cloudy, makes them stick together so they catch in the sand better. All this built into one. It's a great, great thing. How do we apply these guys? Well, a chlorinator is the best thing for a three inch tablet. There is a hard chlorinator that can get plumbed in on the outside of your filter. Once a week, you're gonna open the top of this, put your chlorine tablets in there. You will adjust the rate of flow of water that goes through here, so that will adjust how quickly your tablets dissolve. Once a week, put your tablets in here, very easy. It's outside the pool. There are floating chlorinators that work really well also. This is a cute one, very popular at our store. It's not too expensive. It just kind of floats around like a flying saucer in the top of your pool. You're gonna open that up, put your tablets in there once a week. Number of tablets will depend on the size of your pool, the number of people swimming in the pool, and the temperature. Air temperature will make a difference too because the hotter the water, the more sanitizer you need. This guy, you're just gonna turn this blue ring on here to expose more holes. The more holes exposed, the more water flows through, the quicker those tablets are gonna dissolve. There's also cute uh, dolphins or there's light up ducks. There's all kinds of cool things you can use for chlorinators. We just don't suggest that you put the tablet into the skimmer. I know probably some of you are doing that and I'll tell you why. So good rule of thumb, right? If you want your pool to be really, really clean, the best thing to do is run that pump 24 seven. Just keep that water moving, keep that water flowing, keep the kids in there, keep everybody splashing around. But running that pump 24 seven is gonna keep that water circulating and filtering and keep it clean. A lot of people don't like to run it during the nighttime or don't like to run it during the day. I am gonna suggest with our little sun that's up there, run with the sun. We wanna keep that water moving during the day while the sun is on it. If you think about algae being a plant and plants love to grow in the sun, right? So you wanna keep that water moving during the day. So those little roots don't have a way to grab on because they're constantly circulating through. So let's say you're a chlorine tablet and you're sitting in the skimmer and during the day you're doing your thing and you're dissolving as the water's flowing over you. But then at night, the water gets turned off and you're still sitting in the skimmer and there's no water flowing over, but it's still slowly dissolving. So eight o'clock in the morning, you got it on a timer. Let's say your pump turns on and whoosh, you get this big rush of water, this super chlorinated water that's been sitting in that skimmer. 
it's going to dry things out and burn things out a lot quicker than you would like. So that's why we don't suggest the tablets in the skimmer. Chlorinator would be best for you. Okay. There is also granular chlorine that you can use. That's a great option for you. Granular chlorine is the same kind of granular that you would use in a hot tub. This is just going to get broadcast over the top of the water once a week. So you don't have to worry about anything sitting in a skimmer. There's another product. It's called an NST or a non-stabilized tablet. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Even though I told you not to put a tablet in the skimmer, with the NST you have to put the tablet in the skimmer. So Pettis Pools sells the NST tablets and you'll know it by its purple lid. That kind of makes it a little distinct. This is nothing more than compacted chlorine without the stabilizer in it. So remember I told you this is good in moderation. Let's say you've been using tablets and you bought some tablets, an off-brand tablet. We tell you about those off-brand tablets too. So maybe you got a bucket that's twice the size of the more expensive ones, but you blew through them a lot quicker and the water just doesn't look as clear. Value, uh, there's it's just like anything else in life, right? The cheapest is not always the best. So some of the other products that are out there, one is they're not compacted as well, so they dissolve a lot quicker. And sometimes they're compacted with animal fats, believe it or not. So you may get like a scummy waterline ring around the inside of your pool. It could be the tablets that you're using. Anyways, let's go back to the stabilizer. I know, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, stabilizer in moderation is a great thing, but let's say you've been using tablets for years and years and years. So as that chlorine has been dissolving, the stabilizer or the cyanuric acid has also been dissolving and building up in the water. Once stabilizer is in the water, it doesn't really dissipate. The only way to get rid of it is fresh water. You will probably know when your stabilizer is too high because when you're using your test strips, you'll see that your alkalinity is like almost zero and your pH is really low and you just can't bring that back again for some reason. Bring us a sample and let's see where your stabilizer levels are at. It's really just as easy as draining some of the water out of your pool and adding some fresh water. But if you've been doing it for a while, it might be a couple applications of draining and refilling before you get there. So a good rule that we like to use is you can alternate with the NST or the non-stabilized tablets, maybe throughout the season once your stabilizer gets a little bit on the high side. And the reason why we like these is, and they're gonna go right into the skimmer, is because they are so compacted and just chlorine. There's no stabilizer built into them. These guys are so compacted, they actually cannot go into a chlorinator. It can actually blow up your chlorinator, so you don't wanna put them in there. Put them in your skimmer. They're gonna sit in there, and what's gonna happen is during the day, while your water's running, they're slowly dissolving. But then you turn your pool off, let's say at eight o'clock at night. And they're just going to kind of sit there and hang out and wait for you. Pump's going to come on at 8 o'clock in the morning again. Whoop, water goes over it and they'll start dissolving again. So very safe. You can put these in the skimmer without any problems. Okay. So those are some of your chlorinating products. Hang on, we got a couple of more. All right. So stabilized chlorine tablets, 3-inch tablets, 1-inch tablets, chlorinators, NSTs go into the skimmer. Let's talk about some low chlorine systems that are out there. Frog system is very popular. Let's talk about that one first. So the frog system is still a chlorine system, but it's a low chlorine system because it is supported by a mineral cartridge. So just like your chlorinator we talked about for your tablets, this actually has a chlorinator called a cycler, and this is gonna get hard plumbed outside your pool. Through your cycler, we're gonna put in a backpack or a one inch pack of tablets that's specifically designed for the frog system. And then once a season, for us that's 90 days, right? This is a 90 day cycler. Once a season, you're gonna change out this mineral pack. So in the beginning of the season, you open up the pool, you're gonna start with an algicide that's built specifically for the frog system, and this is called a BAM algicide. It's gonna go right into that cycler and it's gonna circle through. It's a 90 day algicide, so it's gonna last you pretty much your whole season, right? So very slow released algicide. You're going to put your mineral cartridge in. Even though the one from last year still rattles, it's no good. you got to get a new one. You're going to put the new mineral cartridge in after the algicide has gone through. And then you're going to take your backpack. You're going to put this in. This is great because you're only going to open this up once every two weeks and replace this. Okay, you're going to put that in. Top goes on. And then you're going to adjust the rate of flow. I'm going to lift this up here because I didn't screw it up. You're going to adjust the rate of flow of water going through here just by turning this little knob. Remember, the more people swimming, 
the hotter the temperatures, the more chlorine you will need. So you're just going to adjust that rate of flow just with that little knob there. Okay, low chlorine. It's going to cost a little bit more, but anything that's low chlorine or is more convenient to use is always going to cost you a little bit more. Just like anything else in life, I guess, Grubhub and all those kind of things. If they're bringing it to you, you expect to pay a little bit more for that hamburger, right? Let's talk about Easy Pool. I love Easy Pool. It's a great thing. So, uh, just like the head, we have the BAM for the frog system, Easy Pool has a product called Revive. And Revive is a phosphate remover and an algicide that you're going to spray on the surface of the water at the beginning of the season with your garden hose. You're going to attach it, spray it on there. You are actually going to use a three inch tablet in the skimmer once a week. I know I told you not to, but in this case, it's low chlorine. It's only one tablet in the skimmer once a week. In your chlorinators, you're going to use like three or four or five or six tablets, depending on how big the pool is and how many people are swimming, right? This is one tablet in your pool once a week. And then you're going to broadcast this powder over the pool once a week. So just a little scoop, broadcast it, let it circulate. So this is really great stuff. Do you remember we talked about balancers? So there are balancers in here. There is also a shock component in here. There's a clarifier, a water conditioner. It's gonna control algae and it inhibits stains. It's just great. It's got everything in it. You don't have to really worry about anything that's in there. You don't have to worry about your balancers as much. Just sprinkle this powder over the top of the water. Again, a little bit more, but certainly easier to use. So that's a great, great product. You can call and ask us more about those things anytime, okay? So, sanitizing, perfect. Now we have to clean the pool every once in a while too, and that means shocking the pool, not just vacuuming the pool, but we wanna clean the water up a little bit. So we're gonna shock the pool. So there's a couple of ways we're gonna do that. There is Turbo Shock. You guys probably all have heard of Turbo Shock or know about Turbo Shock. This is a strong um, granular form. This is actually gonna boost your chlorine levels up a little bit too. So once a week, you're gonna shock the pool. Let's say you tested your water this morning and your chlorine level's a little bit on the low side. So you got your tablets going again, but they're gonna take a little while to dissolve. So this is one bag per 10,000 gallons for shocking. If you have a 24 foot round, it's pretty popular size of pool. Um, you would use a bag and a half really to shock, but we never want you to use a half a bag of this because it's really potent. We don't want a half a bag sitting around. So one bag or two bags, especially if your chlorine is low, right? Because that's going to boost your chlorine level and that's going to burn up some of that used up chlorine. So when I say used up chlorine, think about the last time you went to maybe the Y or someplace that had an indoor swimming pool and you walked in and you were like, oh, they use a lot of chlorine in this pool, right? Because it was a really strong smell. That's not really an available sanitizer or an available chlorine. That is a chloramine. So imagine that chlorine is kind of floating around in the water and it's looking for bacteria and then it, whoop, it sees it and it grabs onto it, right? So a chloramine is chlorine that's used up. It's held onto that bacteria and we gotta get rid of it. And that's when we shock it to burn it off. So Turbo Shock does that. It burns off the chloramines and it raises your chlorine level. But let's say your chlorine levels are good. There is a non-chlorine shock or an oxidizer. So this is just going to burn off those used up chloramines and not affect your chlorine level at all. A good rule for these guys I tell people to shock one week with Turbo Shock and then the following week with a non-chlorine shock. Turbo Shock you want to add this at night and you want to wait about six hours to swim. The non-chlorine shock or the oxidizer you can wait about 15 minutes and then you can go swimming. This is a nice product to add right before you have a party, kind of puts a little sparkle back into the water because it kind of cooks off some of that used up stuff. Um, Turbo Shock, the other thing sometimes people have a concern with, they say, well, I put this in my pool and it's, it's, I broadcast it and it's just sitting in the bottom of the pool. Is it going to stain my liner? It actually doesn't. This is guaranteed, the chlorine product in this is guaranteed to dissolve within three feet of water. And anything that might settle on the bottom is just the calcium base that the chlorine is on. It's going to look a little kind of poofy. Just sweep it up and get it down into your main drain or you can vacuum it up or eventually it'll dissolve through. But every once in a while you get a little bit on the bottom. Don't worry about it at all. So that's the shocking component of it. You can also shock with liquid chlorine. So we talked about liquid chlorine being a nightly addition. It is if you're using it as a sanitizer. You would use a lower um, percentage then. Let's say every night you're adding two cups or a quart perhaps depending on the temperature. If you use liquid chlorine at a rate of one gallon per 10,000 gallons, then it's considered a shock. So you can shock with liquid chlorine as well. 
Remember we talked about the NST or the non-stabilized tablets? These guys come with their own shock or their own oxidizer and that's called quick swim. So just like it sounds, you can swim very quickly just like you could with a non-chlorine shock. So those are some chlorine products for you. Let's talk about one more thing because a lot of people are doing this nowadays too. And that is sanitizing with salt, which is actually sanitizing with chlorine. So this is a salt cell. There will be a little box that's going to sit outside your pool where you can program the rate of uh, chlorine production through the salt. You're actually going to put hundreds of pounds of salt into the water, believe it or not. It's not going to be salty. It's not going to be drinking like seawater. It's not that kind of salinity. It is actually the same, same saline level as your natural tear. So it's very, very comfortable. It's very soft. Um, it's not, if it tastes salty, you just put too much salt into it. But what we're going to do is there's little panels that are inside here. And as the water travels over these panels, it's going to separate that Na from the Cl. So remember, salt is sodium chloride, NaCl. So the Cl is the chlorine. We're going to take that chlorine out through these cells, take it out of the salt, turn it into liquid chlorine. It's going to do its thing, and it's going to turn back into salt. It's going to go back across, it's going to pull itself apart, it's going to turn into chlorine, it's going to do its thing. It's really, really great. It's chlorine though. So you have a salt pool, you're still sanitizing with liquid chlorine, believe it or not. And you still can support your shock and all that stuff with, so you can use turbo shock, you can use a non-chlorine shock, all the algicides, the clarifiers, all that kind of stuff. Still a chlorine product. Let's say you're opening your pool up right now, so let me tell you about a very easy product to use too. This is called an opening kit. This is a no-brainer, you don't have to think about it. So if you were sanitizing your pool with chlorine, this will work up to 20,000 gallons. In here is two bags of shock, a metal removing stain preventing agent and an algicide all in granular form you're just going to broadcast them over the top of the pool and let it circulate so it's got a bunch of this stuff built in and you just buy it by the box call us if you want to order it go to shop.pettispools.com if you want to order something call us if you have any questions i know this was a whole lot but remember it's all just chlorine you just have to pick one or you start with one this year, maybe you didn't like it this year and you switch to another one next year. But it's chlorine, it's sanitizing, it's killing germs and bacteria. It's what we want to do. So thank you very much for listening. I know that was a lot. If you have some questions, play that video back again or give me a call. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.